it is I and this week I am in my conservatory and I'm hoping that my little fluffy friend Betty Boo might come and join me because I've got some cheese. <laughs> Booey, come here I've got some cheese. Boo, look I've got some cheese. Come here, come here, come up here. Come on I've got cheese. You need to come here though. Betty come here. God, that took a while, didn't it? <laughs> All right, so I don't know how long she's going to stay. I did some Instagram stories yesterday and... Um... <laughs> did you hear that noise? And uh, I had to have a, a sort of a cheese administration every sort of 30 seconds to keep her in place. So, I mean, we'll do one now. Look, she's very, very gentle when she takes it. Um, but that's her payment for making an appearance, you know. She's got quite a strict, what's that thing called when you, oh, a rider, yeah, that bands have when they're about to perform. Anyway, I digress. We are here this morning, aren't we, Betty Boo, to make um, these lovely little beaded bracelets, okay, which I made a few weeks ago from our beads that uh, we sell in the shop with our mini pom-poms and everything. Are we on Facebook? Is everyone? Yeah. It's all working. Had a few technical glitches this morning, you know. I mean, God, it's all so complicated, isn't it? All this stuff we use, all this technology. Anyway, um, I think we're there. We've got one camera that's a bit rocky, so I may disappear momentarily. Uh, anyway, yes, yeah, so we're going to make these bracelets. <laughs> you don't like me telling everyone the truth, do you? But this is live. This is real, Christopher. Christopher, my husband, does all the technical gadgetry, wizardry with his colleague, Dickie, uh, behind the scenes. And um, there's lots of wires, let's just put it that way. So Boo's still here because she can see the cheese. Right, so beaded bracelets. Okay, so we're using the Toho glass seed beads that we sell in the shop in loads and loads and loads of different colours. Okay, I've actually only got four colours here, which is quite surprising because usually I just don't know when to stop. So that's one thing I'm using. And then I'm also using a little selection of our um, mini pom-poms and mini tassels, mini tassels that are actually made for jewellery making or just embellishing your craft work. So that's what I'm using. And then I'm also going to be using some of our beading elastic, which is fabulous. It's like super, super cheap. I think it's like one pound something or other. Uh, and you get a five metre reel of it. It's super stretchy, but also it's good because it's not too thin. Um, I mean, you can get very, very, very thin stuff, which you could use with beading needles, but I've just gone for something that's a little bit fatter. I can't quite remember how fat it is. It could be 0.4 millimetres or something, but it's big enough to get hold of and stick through a bead. Is that not right, Bowie? <laughs> I think she thinks it might be cheese. Uh, so let's crack on. What I've done, if we can just go to the overhead camera, Chris, is I've, um, I've, just in case you're wondering, if you're watching this on Facebook, you'll be able to see this whole tray. If you're watching on Instagram, there's a much reduced area here where, where I've put my rather attractive washi tape to show the area that I need to keep to, to show everyone on Instagram what I'm doing. So if you're watching on YouTube and wondering why I've got these funny bits of, of stuff stuck everywhere, that's why. Um, here's one I made earlier that um, I've been wearing for the past couple of weeks, including, I might add, in the bath and the shower, because, you know, that's just me. I always, always forget to take off my jewellery when I get in the bath and shower. So I am pleased to report that these are bath and shower proof, although uh, maybe my pom-pom has maybe worn a little bit more than it might have done uh, if I hadn't worn it in the bath and the shower. So, as you can see, here's one I made a couple of weeks ago. It's got a few tassels on it, it's got one pom-pom on it, and I've used a mixture of four different coloured beads, all right? Now, what's nice about using the button closure is it kind of adds another little accent to it as well. So I've just used a little red button here, but obviously you can use any sort of button, whatever button you like really, it doesn't really make that much difference, but it's quite a good way of starting it 
and then also finishing it. So I'm just going to move these up out of the way a little bit here and then I'm just going to move that up there and bring this one in here. So here's one I made earlier that I've started earlier and I'm going to show you how to start it and then when I get to a certain point I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to finish it okay now um, I've just used a wooden peg here as you can see just to hold it these are quite handy I must say if you've got some pegs make sure they close quite tightly which the wooden, one, wooden ones seem to do they're quite useful for keeping everything in place and making sure it doesn't fall all over the floor um, and also you can see I'm working on a white tray okay if you go back to the overhead one um, this is quite good as well I, or just if you haven't got a tray a white everyone's got a white plate I think it's quite useful to just keep everything um, so it doesn't slide off onto the floor and keep everything contained when you're when you're working so that's my advice there then you're also just going to need a little pair of scissors and a little dressmaking pin is quite handy when we come to use the glue right at the end so that's why that's there in case you can see that okay so I'm just going to move this one out of the way that I've been working on and let's start again from the very beginning so how do you know how much um, beading elastic to use so I would start off by definitely going obviously around your wrist and making sure that you've got enough to go around your wrist but then I'd add on a whole load more and you've got five meters on this reel so um, don't skimp on the old beading elastic because you in fact I did skimp on it earlier this is why I'm saying this when I was making this one um, I probably just didn't use quite enough uh, of the of the elastic and it's got a bit tight at the end so use plenty and cut yourself off a piece of beading elastic step one okay the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a button okay and I'm going to feed it in from the back of the button this is all going to get quite fiddly now so bear with me if I'm all fingers and thumbs uh, trying to do this live on an overhead camera I may be so I'm going to feed it through the other side of the button back again and then I'm going to tie it in a knot okay so like so okay so now you've got your little button like that everyone see that have we got some viewers there Christopher we do fabulous and um, feel free to ask questions as I go along and sorry if I move it out of the way so I'm again uh, uh, no. no let's not bother with that <laughs> so there's my so that's great because that's going to stop all of the um, beads from moving off here when when you're loading them on now the way I do it okay I get my little beads that I want to use I make a, a rough plan or, or do I actually sometimes I just make it up as I go along if I'm brutally honest um, you can see here I've just done um, black, white, black, white, black, white, and then I'll do a, uh, you know, a whole load of, of grouped colour together. All right, This one that I was doing earlier as well, I've done slightly differently and I've done four black, four white, four black, four white, whatever. Yeah, so if you've, I know some of you have bought loads of beads for this, it's so exciting. So you could literally just go for it and get very creative and do whatever you fancy. But the way that I, I, I go about doing this is I just generally, I just, press one onto my finger okay and then I just pop it onto the elastic all right um, wear your glasses if you need to <laughs> but that's how I do it so like I said if if you manage to find the right sort of needle that will allow you to thread your beading elastic through the needle I mean I've got one here actually it's not a beading needle it's just I think it's like um uh, a crawl or embroidery needle if you've got one where you can this won't go through this eye but if you've got one that would go through the eye and then obviously you need to make sure that your needle will go through the bead as well so it's got a very small eye which that one will then you could use a needle but I haven't found one that will serve both purposes and to be honest it's it's quite easy to do it um, just holding it in my hand so that's how I've done it okay um, I'm, you know, very gung-ho. I'll just get on with it, basically. So this is how I start threading the beads onto. So just pick one up at a time and pop it onto your elastic. All right, so they've done a few black and white. Let's just carry on. Let's do a few green like that. 
and then another one. Now, what I did on the one that I've made that I'm going to show you how to finish off was I popped another little accent button in the middle of it as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But let's just do one more green and then I'm going to show you how to add a tassel. All right. OK, so you can see I've got four black and white, four green. All right. So now it's time for a tassel. Let's go for this absolutely beautiful neon one here. So these come in these little packets made by me. Uh, this, these ones are the Neon Mix. Okay, and I think you get four? No, I think you get more than that. Can't remember. You get, what does it actually tell you? Get six, six pieces. Okay. All right, so what, how, the way they come is they come sort of ready to thread almost onto a necklace. Okay, so if you just had a, a chain, you would just feed the chain through that jump ring. This is called a jump ring here, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the jump ring because if you keep the jump ring, it's good. It's going to make your tassel hang down that bit further and it's just an unnecessary ring that we don't need. So you can see the join is at the top there. So I'm literally, if you've got a pair of pliers, you can use a pair of pliers. I'm just using my fingers. And there it is. Jump ring, discard. You do not need the jump ring. Okay. So then what you're going to do is just, just going to feed the elastic through that other little ring there and slide down your tassel okay so there's your first tassel uh, and so on so I'm just going to pop another few beads on here if I can if they're not sticking to my fingers um, and then I'm just going to show you how you could add a little button uh, without making it too boring I'm just going to go a bit random actually and just get the beads on there so I can just show you okay all right, so say you then wanted to add a little button into the mix. Let's go for this little green heart here. What you would do is just feed it in one side of the button and then feed it through the other side of the button. They've gone Scottish. Why have they gone Scottish? Like that. Okay. And there you see, there's your little button. Okay. And then let's just pop another few beads on and then I'm going to show you, whoopsie daisy. Any bead will do. <laughs> it's quite fiddly anyway, but doing it live on camera is quite tricky. I can confirm. All right. All right. So I'm just going to quickly show you now how to add a pom pom. Obviously, more beads would be an ideal situation, but I don't want to make it boring for you to all watch me faffing around with loads of different beads. And also, you know, we do sell some other beads as well, actually. I know some of you have bought some other beads. Um, let's just stick a few of the lighter ones on. You can add any beads you like onto here. I just particularly like these glass uh, Toho beads that we sell. I think they're really so nice. Um, and the fact that they're glass seems good as opposed to plastic, doesn't it? Okay, Betty has gone because she thinks the cheese is done. Little does she know that I've actually got some more cheese. Maybe she'll come back. Maybe she'll come back. Um, let's just put one more of those on. Right, let's pop a, um, a little pom-pom on now. So pom-pom wise, I love these ones. So th these, you get four of these. These are the 15 millimeter ones. These are the, I think this is the multicolor mix. Okay. So I think I might just pop another one of these out because they're rather splendid and I rather like them. Look at that corker. Okay. So the same thing applies. Okay. You've got this extra jump ring on the top here. So I'm literally just going to open that up with my fingernails, discard it. And then I've got the little loop. I mean, aren't these cute? You could literally add these to so many different things. You could add them to your knitting, crochet, sewing, whatever. If you get the yarn through it. So nice. Um, or just, or, you know, you could just hang it on a necklace. All right, so there we go. This is how you do the, the start. This is how you do the beads. This is how you do the tassels, the button, and the pom-pom. All right, so now I'm going to move back to the one that I was doing this morning. You can see that I've pretty much gone all the way around. It might be slightly smaller than this one. What you do find is they will stretch a little bit, and you might get a few gaps occurring probably helps if you don't wear them in the bath like me <laughs> um, 
But other than that, I, I would say that the beading elastic is pretty hardy and, it, it, you know, it should be fine. And you can see that the little rings, because I've been wearing, the, uh, gone in the bath, it's gone a little copper coloured. But I quite like that. That doesn't really phase me. That's fine. Um, yeah, so this one might be just a tiny bit smaller. OK, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off this peg. All right. Um, and presuming that I'm now finished and I've loaded it up with everything that I wanted, okay, I'm now going to go in and out of this button again with this end, all right? So in that way, um, and like I said earlier, I haven't left myself quite as much slack as I probably should have, all right, with this. So it's a bit more fiddly than it needs to be. Out that way, so now I've got that through there as well. I'm going to take both of the ends and I'm just going to tie those together. And I'm going to do this a few times. So you want to make sure that these knots are very, very secure. <laughs> and now I'm going to struggle to do that because one end is actually quite short. All right. So what you would do here is just tie it and tie it again and tie it again really, really tightly. OK, so you've got that nice and secure. And then if I go back to this one, then what you do, obviously, once you've done that, is you trim the tied bits. And then I'm just going to show you how I, I go about gluing the knot. All right, so this is our gem tack glue. I use this for pretty much everything. It bonds rhinestones, crystals, sequins and mortar fabrics, accessories, dries clear, yada, yada. What I do is I take a little uh, dressmaking pin, OK, and I just get a little bit of glue on the end of my dressmaking pin. OK, this is all very fiddly as well. And then I do just literally put it on to the knot, okay, which has slipped slightly to the side on this one. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, and that's it, okay. And once you've left that bit of glue to dry on top of the knot, um, then it's ready to wear, basically, okay. So that's that. Now, if you're going to make a necklace, you could do the same uh, on a much, much longer piece of the elastic. Um, once this is tied together, Obviously, this is how it's going to look finished. OK, this little button's caused it to kink slightly, but it will, as I wear it, it would look less so, less kinky. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. OK, so if you come back to me, um, if you're going to do a necklace, yeah, just get a much, much longer piece of beading elastic. I would always use more than you need. OK, always use more. So you go around, decide where you'd want it to sort of finish and then just add on like another 20 percent. OK, so you've got plenty and that will make it much, much easier to tie up at the end. But I think that button thing works really well. Obviously, if you're going to do a necklace and you're going to put it over your head, you're going to need to stretch it over your head to get on. Um, so another way you could do it would be to make a loop in the elastic on one side and put the button the other side and then you'd actually give yourself a closure so the loop could go around the button and because it's stretchy elastic that loop would stretch around the button so it should hold it fairly tightly. So that would be a way of getting it on and off without the need to stretch it over your head if you're doing that. But when you're just doing the bracelets, I don't think that's a problem just putting it over your hand. So um, we sell the, the mini tassels come in a few different colours. I, I think you can see I've got like the turquoise mix here. This is the neon mix and there's also the multicoloured mix. Then we've got the pom-poms in the multicolour, the neon pink, okay, and we've got turquoise. And then we sell a whole load of tassels actually that are a different manufacturer that are like this one on my necklace here. They're slightly bigger but also very nice, especially if you're doing necklaces. And then these pom-poms also come in a bigger size, which I think is a two centimetre size. These are 1.5, uh, slightly bigger pom-poms and that you get two. So you could do earrings with those if you wanted to, but they might look nice on a necklace as well. So, any questions? Booey? No. Boo, do you want some more cheese? Where are you? Boo, Betty. Come on, come and get some more cheese. Come and say goodbye to everyone. Come here. Oh, she's not looking convinced. Come on, I've got cheese. You need to come up here for your cheese though. Come here. Here she comes, here she comes. Yes, all right. We'll just wait a second. Um, no questions? Oh, yes, there is. Uh, Ruth Wodski from Facebook is saying, uh, what size is the thread, please? I, mm, yes, 
That's a very good question. I think it's 0.4 millimetres. It says it on our website if you go to beading elastic. That's it, she's gone. She's just so fickle. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. It's on our website. I think it's 0.4 millimetres, okay? Hopefully. I might have made that up. But the thing is, I've got it, but I haven't got the packet because I've taken it out of the packet and thrown the packet away. Sorry, I'm so unprofessional. <laughs> uh, and we've got Kara Kra uh, on Instagram asking, I don't have a button. Is there any other way Ooh. to hide the messy knot? Ooh, you don't have a button. I'll cut one off something. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, you're not, I mean, to be honest, yeah, you're not really going to see it. If you do a, make sure you do loads and loads and loads of knots, okay? So it's really, really secure. Do the, the blob of glue. Then once the blob of glue is, tr is dry, you can snip the ends off of the elastic. And then you're probably not going to notice it because all your beads will be around it. I mean, I, I just think the, ba the button adds quite a nice little accent to it, like another little thing in it. Not another little thing in it. Another little thing in it. Um, yeah. Miss so. B and Miss Bonnet says, happy fluffy anniversary. Oh, yes. I didn't even say that. So yesterday was our 10th shop anniversary uh, birthday of the shop opening. My business has been going for slightly longer than that. Um, but the actual shop's been there for 10 years yesterday. I can't believe it. Um, and normally we'd have probably had a big party and we'd all been hugging and getting people to toot their horn as they drove past the shop. But obviously that couldn't happen because we're in the middle of the pandemic. So, uh, oh, I have got a birthday hat actually. Completely forgot about that. I was gonna wear my birthday hat. There we go. Uh, I actually made this at Christmas when we went out for our <laughs> Christmas party. We had to pimp a hat, but mine looks like a trifle. It also could be a birthday cake, was what I was thinking. I do look quite ridiculous. People coming in at the last minute would think, what on earth is she doing? Anyway, yes, so well, thank you for that. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Um, and um, I am doing 10 days of offers at the moment on uh, social media and via newsletter. So hopefully you can benefit from one of those offers because I really wanted to make it all about thanking you guys for supporting us for 10 years and being our customers um, and wanted there to be something in it for you as well. Yes, next question, please. Brenda56 on Instagram is saying... Brenda, is that you, Brenda? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think it Brenda. is. Brenda. Oh, yeah, Brenda. Yeah, Brenda um, Passon, Brenda P. Uh, you're sold out on onla online <laughs> for the what? elastic. Oh, no, are we? Oh, I had no idea, Brenda. Are you going to order again? Yeah. Is she I'll talking get some about next the, week. that elastic or oh, other elastic? Damn it. I'm so sorry. I had absolutely no idea we'd sold out of it because I thought we had so much. I have to say that when I announced that I was doing this today, we did have a flurry, a flurry of orders. We had a lot of orders last week for all of this stuff. I do apologise. I didn't know that. So many things to do. I will order more as soon as is humanly possible. Um, yeah, we do have other elastic, but you don't want other elastic. But people are going mad for elastic at the moment for making masks. You don't want that elastic. You need the beading elastic. I'll get some more, Brenda. I'll get some more. Oh, and we now have a new thing on our website, which says email me when back in stock. I know. Amazing. Oh, more, more hassle than you'd think for me to set that up. So basically now, when something's out of stock, you can put your email in, and when we put it back in stock and it arrives, it emails you and lets you know. Fabulous. So um, yeah, do that, Brenda, and it'll tell you when it comes back. And then this tutorial will be stuck on YouTube and on Facebook, hopefully, so you can go back and re-watch it if you need to. Any more for any more? I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Pam Edwards on Facebook is saying, I can't see the video this morning, but you've managed to comment on oh. it, and I'm confused by this. Pam, it is on YouTube, it's on Instagram, it's on Facebook. Okay. Um, 
do me a favour, Pam. Just put in the comments here. What are you trying to watch this on? Is it your phone, a well, you laptop? See, he's interested things now. Like that. Chris is interested. He wants to know why you can't see it. I do want to know why you can't see it. Yeah. Um, so if you're on Instagram, it should be at the top in the stories. It's there for 24 hours as well. And then on Facebook, it should just be on my feed, I think. And same on YouTube, on our channel. Oh, it's all so complicated, isn't it? Anyway, I'm sure most of, hopefully most of you can see me. Okay, any more for any more? So um, we are going to take a break next week because um, we've been doing these every week since lockdown started here in the UK, which was sort of middle of March. And we're going to have a week off. Somebody just gave a thumbs up to that. What, to what? Having Might a week off? Me. Oh, to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please take a week off with you. Um, but we'll be back in a couple of weeks with something else. I'm going to do a poll on Instagram, because that's the only place you can do a poll. I don't think I can do them anywhere else. So if you're not on Instagram, get yourself on Instagram and follow us. Um, and on stories, you can do a poll where you can ask people questions and they can say what they'd like. So I'm going to ask you guys on Instagram what it is you'd like me to do next. And we'll take it from there. I was sort of thinking of maybe doing uh, one of our felt bag kits. That's an, one of my ideas. And I'm also thinking about doing some needle felting at some point. But if there's anything else that you would like me to do a live tutorial on, then I'd be very interested to know. So Betty's gone. Sorry about that. Um, I've got the cheese now. Chris, would you like a piece of cheese? Oh, and before we go, <laughs> you actually look quite interested. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to Chris. Do you want to come and be on camera for a second? No. No. <laughs> um, I'm an enigma. He's an enigma. Okay. He um, he goes he goes to bed every night uh, dreaming about camera lenses, and he loves gadgets, and he loves video, and that's what he does for a living. And obviously, when there isn't a worldwide pandemic, he's usually very busy. So we've been very lucky that he's been able to um, get involved with this and make it happen. So big thank you to him publicly. Look, he's looking all shiner. Oh, no, he's not. Uh, so I will give him a piece of cheese to say thank you. And <laughs> he loves talking into the microphone as well. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> Um, he loves it when people ask questions. Anyway, so I'm going now, but uh, yeah, so we won't be doing anything next weekend. Sorry, but we'll be back the weekend after all being well. So we will see you then. Um, have a lovely week. The weather's turned a bit, which is a bit of a bummer, isn't it, frankly? But maybe there's more time for crafting. Looking on the bright side, you know? Uh, so now the sun's gone in, we can all get the beads out and uh, and the wool out and have a lovely time all right have a lovely weekend guys and uh thank you again to everybody for the past 10 years and see you soon <laughs>